When their season of 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 Days was airing, Lisa Ham and Usman Umar seemed to have a chance. Sure, Lisa had jealousy issues and there was a massive age gap, but they also had a lot in common, both going by absurd nicknames and even seemed to have some love between them. Recently, they've both been very last present online. What happened? Baby girl Lisa Ham is more than 20 years older than Soja boy Usman Umar. Despite that, the two were so serious about their relationship that they were engaged. To make sure that this was the right path for them and to have an easier time with the visa process, Lisa traveled to Nigeria. There were issues, among them Lisa's intense jealousy issues. She was flattered by her relationship with a celebrity, to the general amusement of fans, that it came with drawbacks. Lisa did not like his fans, his groupies, or even the idea that a woman might be featured in a music video with him to her song. But still, despite some intense struggles, a lot of anger, tears and storming off from Lisa, and some memes, they stuck with it. Despite so many obstacles, the two of them decided to get married and went through with the wedding. But getting married does not always mean a happily ever after and wedded bliss. First of all, Lisa was already embroiled by a scandal before the series ended. She, a white woman, was using the N-word and homophobic slurs on social media, which is absolutely unacceptable. Fans wondered how long a marriage could last between a black man and a woman caught publicly using such awful slurs. Then at the tell-all recording, Usman revealed that Lisa called him the N-word. None of that aired officially, but nine hours of raw tell-all footage accidentally leaked and fans got an eyeful of what TLC didn't want them to see. In the wake of that scandal, Sean Robinson very tastefully shared that it was being handled. That turned out to mean that Lisa's then-current and future 90 Day Fiancé gigs were cancelled, as first reported by blogger John Yates. Lisa couldn't have known that the tell-all would air amidst historic Black Lives Matter protests, but she should not have been using that slur ever in any context with anyone. Had Usman been just a scammer, as some had assumed him to be, he might have lived with the indignity of that treatment. Instead, he moved to end his marriage towards Lisa, even publicly sharing some of her cruelest text messages to him. Lisa, no longer with her husband and having sabotaged her own once promising start at a reality career, seemed bitter and quickly faded from the spotlight. In December of 2020, Usman thanked God for his divorce from Lisa, signaling that he was officially in that legal process. No one in the world deserves to be partnered with someone who will verbally abuse him. Lisa and Usman are not together, and we should all be thankful for that. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.